be watching live action from court two here at the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium. It's uh, quarterfinals day at Leaning China Masters 2023. And we're down to the final match of the morning session. And that's the women's doubles clash between the number four seeds, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, who are also the defending champions here against Zhang Shuxian and Zhang Yu, the number seven seeds from China. That's what's coming up here on court two in this morning session. Of course, there will be an evening session that gets underway at 5 p.m. local time. I have four more thrilling matches awaiting you. But let's look at that women's doubles draw as we end or get towards the business end of this event. And the winner here between Fukushima Hirota and Zhang and Zheng will take on either Chen Ching Chen Jia Yifan, the world number ones, or Lambert and Tran of France in the semi-finals with the likes of the number five seeds, Matsuyama and Shida, or number two seeds, Bei Kana and Lee So-hee in the final. Guaranteed to be either Japanese or Korean, as you can see there from the bottom half of the draw, with two Korean pairs and two Japanese pairs in the mix. We've got two Chinese pairs in the top half as well. Total of four nations left in this women's doubles draw with the only European representation coming from Lambert and Tran there of France. Well, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, of course, the 2019 champions of the Fuzhou China Open. That was the last time this Super 750 event was played in China. They won that final by beating Lee So-hee and Shin Sung chan of Korea in two games. Making their fourth appearance now at this tournament after making their debut in 2019. We wait for the players to get on court. We know the officials are making their way over to court two. Fukushima and Hirota, of course, who have so much experience, having been in the game for a long time. Contrasting run here to Zhang Shuxian and Zhang Yu, who are playing in their first ever Super 750 event at the China Masters. It's their debut tournament for the young Chinese pair. over on court one on this wide angle that men's singles is being played between Zhao Junpeng and uh, Li Chun Yi, Zhao Junpeng of China, Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. Through this morning session, Court One has had Chinese player throughout, which is, gets the crowd excited, I'm sure. And here on Court Two now, we have another Chinese player in action, so we can imagine the crowd getting behind them, getting loud. Zhang Xuxian and Zheng Yu of China. Who are trying to follow in the footsteps of the seniors, Chen 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 and Jia Yifan, trying to get in the biggest of titles, trying to earn the biggest of titles, as we see there. It's Zhang and Zhang who leads the head-to-head -head against Fukushima and Hiroto, three and red, to do? one. Red, black color for you. It's red. Who will serve? Yuki will serve. Who will receive? Cheng Yu will receive which side? On my right side. So you see the coin toss and Yuki Fukushima choosing to serve after winning it. Cheng Yu will receive and uh, they've chosen to play or start on the near end. So 3 1 head to head. They last met at the Asian Games in the quarterfinals and Fukushima and Hirota won that in 3 24, 22, 17, 21. 23-21. You see that Saika Hirota, the younger of the two, 29 years of age from Kumamoto, her hometown. 
ranked fourth in the world at the moment, but have gone up, of course, as high as number one in June 2018. Her partner, Fukushima, now 30 years of age, have a win-loss record in 2023 of 41 to 20. At the quarterfinal stage, that, stay in, that stands at eight to five. But they've lost, interestingly, three of the last four quarterfinals. Looking at the way they've gotten here, they beat Kung and Zhang of China in straight games, 45 minutes, 21-15, 21-7. And then their compatriots, Iwanaga and Nakanishi, 21-12, 21-17. So haven't dropped a game so far in this tournament. And they also played Zhang and Zhang this year, the Malaysia Open. In the first round, and Zhang and Zhang won that in three games, 21, 15, 19, 21, 21, 16. Zhang Yu, now 27 years of age from Shandong, ranked number six in the world with her partner, Zhang Xuxian. On up as high as number two, that was in May of 2023 20, this year. Zhang Xuxian, three years younger, at 23 from Sichuan. And these two, of course, a lot of promise. They are looking to follow in the footsteps and continue China's legacy in women's doubles. Have a 2023 win-loss of 37 to 15. Quarterfinals that stands at 7 to 6. They've won three of the last five. They beat Panda and Panda, the sisters, in the first round, 15 and 9, quite easily. Haven't dropped a game as well. Beat compatriots Lee and Luo in the second round, 21-11, 21-11 in 39 minutes. So pretty Smooth sailing so far for both these pairs. Ready to play. Fukushima and Hirota spending a little bit longer on court in the previous rounds, but not too much that will bother them. So we see the coaching setup for Team China. Well, before the Malaysia Open, they also met at the Australian Open last year, where Zhang and Zhang won that in three. And then all England last year in the first round, and Zhang and Zhang won that in three. So all their matches previously have gone to three games. Now, interestingly, Zhang Xuxian played Fukushima and Hirota at the Indonesia Masters this year as well. But she was then partnered up with Liu Shengsheng. And uh, I can tell you that It was Zhang Xuxian and Liu Shengsheng who won the Indonesia Masters against Fukushima Ready. and Hirota. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Zheng Yu and Zheng Sushen, China. And on my left, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, Japan. Yuki Fukushima will serve to Zheng Yu to, Zheng Yu to get this quarterfinal underway. Play. and stepping forward finds the in-between space. Superb. Aggressive 1-2 one. One, from Fukushima and Hirota.
Silver, three, two. Just long. Sarzeva, three all. And a close start as expected between these two. by the Chinese pair. Another excellent work by Zhang and Zhang. They were superb defensively, absorbed all of that attack, and then Zheng Yu changed direction and play before Zhang Shixian just stepped up, doing what she does best of the net, intercepting. Wide. Five, three. side she was looking for the net roll Jung Yu but just not able to go over That's good recovery but the return from Fukushima just too high Six, four. Easy to put away, but by Jung Yu, who's a tall player. <laughs> Two point lead. Caught her by surprise. She's just trying to move it away from her body because the Seven, shuttle five. certainly sort of swerved a little bit when it caught the net. Caught Fukushima by surprise. as they give chase Five. Fukushima and Hirota. And that really is credit to Zhang and Zhang who moved their opponent around really well. As you see that Zhang Yu broke a string in her racket.
Mal nicht arbeiten. She mishit that Jung Hyu. You see a smile on her face. She was not ready for that one. Jung Hyu is a little bit annoyed as you see Jung Hyu trying to <laughs> trying to apologize and sort of. shot from Jung Yu. Makes amends for the previous mistake. So a mistake at the net from Fukushima means it's Jung and Jung who have the lead at the break, and it's a good lead that they've created, a five-point lead <coughs> against the defending champions. It's eight minutes played, so it's been pretty fast-paced, this women's doubles quarterfinal. <laughs> Jung and Jung have made the brightest start against Fukushima and Hirocha. I think from about three all in this Eight. opening game, they've slowly but steadily opened up this lead. <laughs> was the Kumamoto Masters and they won that. In fact, they won back-to-back -back tournaments. Some fine nick at the moment. Jung. And Jung. Yeah. She's done well, hasn't she? She turned defense from attack quite efficiently there, Jung Shu Sien. It was an exchange really between her and uh, Fukushima. Seven, that far corner well. important for Fukushima and Hirota to try and catch up here before the game gets away from them. Jung Shusin and Jung Yu have created this cushion that allows them to stay in control. That was a lovely drop right between the two. Look at that from Hirota. 
as she goes behind. You almost think that there was hesitation from Zhang Xuxian. A little bit of miscommunication between these two. Good rally. Find the outside line. How about that from Zhang Xuxian? Fukushima and Hirota were trying very hard to get on top of their opponents there. Zhang Xuxian was pinpoint perfect on that winner. Kumamoto Masters, pretty phenomenal fashion. They hadn't dropped a set all the way till the final. And it was against their compatriots, Liu and Tan in Kumamoto, that they dropped a game and still managed to win. And before that, they won the high-low open when uh, Rahayu and Ramadanti retired. To be fair, in their final, they were a game up, 21-18, and then they retired with injury, and that allowed Zhang and Zhang to lift the trophy. Oh, look at that. It's going all out, the Chinese pair. So good about the Japanese play. Fukushima and Hirota just 11, defensively stoic. Because it was smash after smash from both Zhang Shusian and Zhang Yu. And then Sayaka Hirota just absolutely capitalized on an opening in that far court. That's the experience that these two have. Intercepts and the net. She's played two fabulous shots in these last two long rallies. Look at that. Look at the vision in that shot. And she's made it a one point game. Can you? Can you? They've won six of the last seven points. Fukushima and Hirota to catch up. Fukushima that time finds the in between space. It's 13 all. As you see, it gets close, the crowd gets behind the Chinese pair. They were cruising in the first half. Look at that. 14, Change of pace, 15. flatter forehand. And Jung Yu under pressure. Pulled out. 15, 13. Oh, it's fine, the corner. Good flick serve. 
take the lead for the first time, really, since 3-2 uh, in this opening game. Something's changed, something switched for Fukushima and Hirota. They are now have control of these exchanges because frustrating their opponents more and more into making mistakes. Momentum clearly with them. It's a seven point run now. Tell you whatever the coaches said to Fukushima and Hirota at that break has certainly worked because they were 5 11 down. And now, really have gone on this fantastic run in the second half. Seven points in a row before Jung and Jung could break the stride. See what kind of response the Chinese pair can have a clash of rackets as they both went for it. So the 17 14. Challenge it, but I think she's Transition missed the line. Challenges falls out. It's called out by the line judge who immediately raised up her hands. She must be feeling pretty confident about that. Oh, it's just in. What a challenge! Correction in. She must have. Eagle eyes. 16, 17. Zhang Shuxian made the challenge, and that was the right thing to do because what a challenge that was. Barely in, but it was in nonetheless. Changes 
once more. but that was intentionally hit. Hard shot to play back, and she knows that. Closes the shuttlers to the body. stretched out with that delightful drop shot from Zheng Yu right in front of Fukushima. And they're all smiles again, the Chinese. Just a moment ago, they were looking nervous. But they have seemed to have found their smiles back. Now, they're two points away from clinching this really tight opening game. Fukushima and Hiroto are a point behind. have done this change of direction really well a couple of times. That time again, Hirota is redirecting the shuttle towards the forehand of Zheng Yu. Hello, sir. Sent wide on the return. Good serve from Fukushima as it brings up the first game point. on Hirota. Fukushima tries to intercept. side of the court was left empty, left open, puts it away with ease. It's 20 all. It's a twist still in this opening game. comes forward, redirects the shuttle, finds that far corner. She's done that three times already effectively and precisely in this opening game. So a second game point opportunity for Fukushima and Hirota. Flick serve. Game point saved by Zhang and Zhang. Point 
one. Still persisting. Game point three. but it was that defensive save from Jan Chusi and what a shot that is. Yeah, this is gonna take every inch of focus from both these pairs. 22 all, three game points saved. We're nowhere near finding out who's gonna come out on top. What a save that was. Fourth game point for Fukushima and Hirota. Can they convert? The ones creating the opportunities that just haven't been able to close out. Low serve. They do on the fourth time. Drop shot from Fukushima. And it's Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota who persevere in this opening game 24 22. Look at that. Fukushima finding that drop shot on the backhand. Zhang Shusian nowhere near it. They've had the opening game after nearly half hour of play, 29 minutes to be exact. <laughs> あ、今みたいね。ここはですね、本当にアウトぐらいで必死で。Second game. It's a long, hard fought first game that Fukushima and Hirota came out on Play. top of 24 22 after 29 minutes. A change of ends now. So it's a must win for Zhang and Zhang to keep their China Master campaign alive. The first 
first game is anything to go by. One love. going to look to go the distance as well. Finds the back line. One all. That straight into the net, Fukushima. Sub-silver, two, one. Players caught Sam out Silva. in the middle of the Two. court, oh. standing on the tee. She saw that coming, the rota. Even more effective on the return, gets the steep smash in. Great variety in their game, the spare, Fukushima and Hirota. And the slow conditions certainly help them execute their shots better. That time the drop shot from the backcourt. Jung Yu. Thank you. Caught out. Take the lead for the first time in this game. The Japanese. How about that for a return? Silva for all. Again, reading the serve well. The trading blows at the moment. Yeah, four 
forcing the Chinese pair to find the lines because they've covered the court so well. Fukushima and Hirota. Zhang Shusian sending the shuttle wide. Under pressure, defending well, keeping the shuttle in play. Five all. Very little separating these two pairs. Talked about. Fukushima and Hirota having a pretty decent year. Last tournament at Kumamoto, though they lost in the first round to China's Liu and Tan in three games. The Badminton Asia Championships in April, where they beat Beikana and Lee so Hee in straight games. That was the only title of the year so far. Go to the final of the Swiss Open, where they lost to Mijaura and Sakuramoto, who were handed a walkover after Fukushima and Hiroto withdrew. Good defending. And eventually, they succumb. Oh. To the barrage of Chinese attacks. Use your foot. Uh, backhand to the net. And made it level scores. It's the final of the Swiss Open, they lost in the Indonesia Open final. Fukushima and Hirota lost to Bacon Lee in straight games. And the Indonesia Masters finals as well. They lost to Zhang Shu Xian, who you see there on the other end of the court, and her Sex then partner, Liu Sheng Shu, in straight games. Six. So, four finals in total, one title for Fukushima and Hirota. Looking to defend their crown here. and crouching down to try and play the shuttle back. Yeah, pretty much on the floor. Because of the angle that shuttle was coming at her in. A surprise. Good movement Seven, eight. from the Chinese pair. Chang Su Xian first you? playing it towards Hirota and then the follow up from Zheng Yu to Hirota's forehand. Sorry, Fukushima's forehand. It's 
It's going to be a physically taxing game. That we knew from the start. Two high quality pairs. Who's got the physicality to stay in this game? Who's got the mental toughness to stay in this game? Sarsova, 9-7. Do you not happy with that backhand? Can't afford to make those kind of mistakes. On the line. Ten, seven. That is perfect placement. And a three-point lead for Fukushima and Hirota. The biggest off this second game for sure. And it is indeed Fukushima and Hirota who go up 11-7 at the break. They have the advantage of the first game as well. And now lead by four in the second. Uh, 43 minutes of play. Pretty tight in this women's doubles quarterfinal. Or two, 20 seconds. Put your seconds to your chair. Yep. Yeah. Sayaka, get ready. <laughs> Question is, will this four-point lead be enough Eight. to see Fukushima and Hirota through to the semi-final? We saw in the opening game where Zhang and Zheng had a five-point lead at the break and that got turned around in the second half. So will it be a similar play? Oh, lucky net shot. Zheng Yu is catching the top of the net. She went for the roll. They're too late, Jim Yu. Four point lead for Fukushima and Hirojo. And Straight to the net, Zhang Yu. And I think also you have to remember that Zhang and Zheng have had a long week in Japan preceding this tournament. And they went on that title run in Kumamoto, unlike their opponents. And before that, they were at Hilo. So it's been a taxing few weeks already on the tour. Well, that proved to be costly. In this match. Yep. Clearing it 
towards the back, Zhang Shuxian. And again, she goes for that redirection that she's done so well in this match. Oh, oh she misses it. Hiroda, she had her opponents in the previous couple of shots, but then you have to give credit to the Chinese for holding their ground there. Two shots that rally. Not the longest we've seen, but the fact that they're exchanging as many shots as they are does <laughs> create chances of losing focus or lapse of concentration. Ah! Ah! <laughs> six-point lead. This is the biggest advantage that Hirota and Fukushima have had over their opponents in the entirety of this match. What a time to do it. And the lift. This is tiredness that's setting in for Zhang Shuxian and Zheng Yu. They were a lot more alert in that opening game, and that's taken a toll on them. Zheng Yu. Tired shot from Zhang there. Change. Both pairs playing it a little bit safe, waiting for their chance. That was a nice shot from Jung Yu. How good was that defense, though? 17. Nine. That is solid. That is standout from Fukushima and Hirota defensively. Absolutely. Remarkable. And then to have the awareness to play that drop shot. Thank you. It's eight point lead. There's on card. Four away from a win. It came at the back of a 56 short rally, the longest of the match so far. It's going to be a mountain to climb for these two. Oh. That's one way to close the gap. All out attack from Jung Yu. change of plan. It's such a big gap that they know they've got to kill off these points now. The long, drawn-out rallies weren't going in their favor. And so 
Jung and Jung have decided to step it up. Quick few points, try and close the gap. Maybe make take advantage of a tired opponent on the other end. Silva, 18-11. Three points away from a semi-final place. Our Fukushima and Hirota. Seven-point advantage restored. Ninth semi-final in 2023 for the Japanese pair Beckins. try and take advantage well, in times of confusion but that time they miss hit Fukushima and Hirota okay. they had the Chinese pair on the run Racket on the shuttle, it missed. The defending from Hirota. On the second time after again some excellent defending from Yuki Fukushima. Hirota delivers the blows at the net. Fukushima and Hirota looking to keep the shuttle up. Oh, gets the drop shot at the net. Hirota Bunty intervenes match point and it sets up 13. seven match point opportunities for the number four seeds. I have to say that in the second game they have certainly been one step ahead especially in the second half Fukushima and Hirota defensively they have been unshakable and they secure a berth in the semi-finals with a straight games win over the number six seeds sorry number seven seeds Zhang Xuxian and Zhang Yu. That was a tremendous second game, especially from the Japanese pair, the defending champions. Match won by Yuki Fukushima. Barely put a Sayaka foot wrong. 24, 22, 21. Turn defense 14. into attack. Smooth and sensationally. So 24, 22, 21, 13. In 56 minutes, an impressive win for Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, who are through to the semi-finals here at the China Masters and keep their 
defensive campaign alive, the title defense alive, I should say. Well, that brings us to the end of uh, the first session here at the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium on quarterfinals day. Do remember to join us for the second session. It starts at 5 p.m. local time. We'll have four more matches for you here on court two, and it'll be Jeevan Salvanadan who will be taking you through those four matches. But from me, Mo Shumidat, it is a thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Goodbye.